hey guys welcome back to the another video so firstly thanks for the all the response in the last video where i posted about everything about my life till date after that i got a lot of response about how i started actual book reviewing or how i started my freelancing journey so today in this video i'm going to talk about these two things that right? first one is how i started book reviewing and second one is how i started my freelancing journey so i will talk about the first one that is the book reviewing journey so like i started my blog in the second year and it's it's almost like four years now but after the engineering uh, after the 2018 to in 2018 after engineering after graduation i shifted to the pune and when i shifted to the pune i got a mail from the publisher that would you like to review our book so before that like before getting that mail i used to post my my favorite books or whatever i think about my favorite books on my blogs maybe because of that reason i got a response from the publisher that would you like to review our book so that's how actually my started op journey of book reviewing so after that mail i did a couple of books or couple of review for the free like almost at zero rupees uh, around 40 to 50 books i reviewed for free in, in that zone like i realized that i am wasting a lot of time in reviewing books so i started charging or picking the right book that will be useful for me or the books that i would like to i would love to read so that's how actually i started my book reviewing journey after that i i realized okay it's this is something you can turn your passion into profession so i started charging for a charging amount for reviewing any type of a book whether it's finance whether it's my favorite or whether it's not very but most of the time it's it comes to be a favorite there are very few books i don't like usually but there are something uh, there is always a learning from any any type of the book it depends on how you take it so this is how i started my book reviewing journey so now obviously i am proudly say that i charge for the book review it's not a uh, something to shame or it's not something to hide about because it's about it's more than a year now that i have reviewed a lot of books and now i now i know what type of books work hard what type of uh, books my audience likes or what type of books you should do read depends on your mood depends on your learning and depends of all the factors that how you want to go ahead in the life so this is how i started book review i still do book review so it's not a it's not a it's i'm proud of it actually that i still do the book review because that's the thing i like from my childhood coming to the second brand that is a freelancing how i started my freelancing journey so most of you guys know that i love to read and i love to write also i do make some mistakes but it doesn't affect a lot because it's okay to make mistake otherwise you won't learn in life so sometimes i make typical errors in the writing but it's okay i my friend suggests me and i improvise daily on it but when it comes to writing i used to write on my blogs uh, i still like if you go in the description check out all the writings i have wrote or you can just go on the instagram check out the highlight in the cover section highlight section under the caption you will find uh, everything whatever i written on that for that highlights so I, I i love to write about it and i might plan a book about writing uh, i'm i'm actually i'm planning a book out i'm planning a book to write i'm not sure what type of book that will be turned out it may, probably that will be a non-fiction book so let's get into the let's get into the topic that how i started freelancing so when i started writing about like i wrote around around 30 to 40 blogs after that uh, when i was when i was surfing through the facebook that i received a message for the ghost writing like ghost writing is something you write it but your name is not mentioned someone will take the credit of it and you will get the paycheck or you will get the amount for that writing so this is how when i got a mail i got a message from one foreign customer or the foreign businessman that would you like to write for us so i thought why not let's give it a try so that's how actually i started my freelancing journey that was the first gig i did i don't have to go for the any website or i didn't check any website it just it just came to me because of my writing journey so like it's important whatever you do whenever you whatever you do get should you should get recognized for that or that you should post that everywhere so people know that what you do or people should know that what you actually do then you will get a lot of project about freelancing or you can actually start about it 
so after that that was the first uh, uh, writing that around uh, 1000 words i wrote that article and i got to pay around like 150 rupees for that that was the first my online income like it's very it's very very less 150 rupees at the, but that getting that first gig or getting that first writing article was like one of the great thing happened to me after that i realized i can write or i can work in that freelancing journey that's how i started searching for the things i love so after that i become i uh, i tried copywriting i tried a content writing i still do like i still do copywriting and content writing apart from that i learned how to design my website by myself apart from that i learned marketing strategies now it's been a four year i am this i am not four year but to be specific the last two years are hardcore last two years where i put everything in this freelancing journey where i learned copywriting content writing website designing uh, graphics designing a little bit then when it comes to the the main focus is my is to the help other businesses to grow to, uh, to help their on online income to grow so i help them actually to grow their business online whether it's facebook whether it's instagram whether it's website designing or whether it's ads how to do that i help them to grow their business or i help in the personal branding also so i still i i do have a international i i actually work with the international clients because it's easier to work with so this is how i started my freelancing journey so actually i'm going to put in detail everything like what is the pros and cons of freelancing how you should do it freelancing is a bit like a roller coaster ride there is no fixed fixed income but there is a no limited income you can make it depends on you how much you ask you put in the work you will get paid for literally it's starting from the if if i want to talk in the dollars you can start charging from 20 to 30 dollar per hour to around 100 dollars per hour so right now at this condition i do like couple of things the first one is i'm marketing expert for uh, different businesses i do help in the personal branding i help in the i help in the funnels i help in the facebook ads instagram ads so basically if you have if you know any small business and if they want to improve their online presence then i am the right kind of guy to help them so this is how what i do right now i find out like the next question comes is that how to find what you like so it's obviously i as i already told you it's important to find when you, when it comes to the finding the right niche it's important to try every other thing that you know like i tried i tried a lot of things whether it's accounting whether it's entry data entry or whether it's website designing because i don't do website designing a lot i have my friends who actually i outsource the website designing but when it comes to the copywriting when it's come to the marketing expert when it's come to the funnels when it comes to the facebook ads on instagram ads or when it's come to the building a personal brand it comes to me like this is how i started my freelancing journey from mechanical engineer to completely turning into a freelancer no freelancing was a very hard thing but i did it because i already told in the last video about about whole my life in uh, in the last video go check it out if you haven't done yet so this is the couple of things i do this is the i i'm still learning a new things because see when it comes to income i'm very very serious about it i'm going to put another video why sh we should talk about money the pre uh, freelancing the pros and pros of freelancing or how you should get started with this making money online thing because see it's important to have multiple sources of income otherwise it's really hard i still have my full-time job apart from that full-time job i work as a freelancer i work with different types of clients most of them are the international clients i work with there are very high paying clients so i actually take three to five clients a year so it's not a big deal for me to a big deal for me but i want you to know that how i started it's not like uh, it's not i am gifted with anything or it's not that i have given a power of something to start with i like i started with zero like all my friends know that i i, I am i got graduated with the usual marks obviously that uh, good marks i got a mnc job also but i shifted my career to the completely different stream which i love so starting from a zero was hard that was a depression thing but i still 
did it so if i can do it then you can also definitely do it it's not hard thing so i want one thing from you if you know the person from like from 18 years or who are just going to the college who are just uh, like 20 years or the around 25 years who want to build their side income so please share this video with them let them know that why these are the things plays important role in the life where I'm going to put another video about it, the actual stages of how I started or different things or the pros and cons or what are my future plans or what I'm planning. Uh, there are two, three things I'm planning right now. One is on the finance, one is on another business and one, other, uh, one is another, actually two business actually. So before I launch that, I want you to share this video with the, all the young generation so it's not that i am like expert in it but i have realized that couple of things that plays an important role when you graduate from your college and these plays a very 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 important role whether it's finance whether it's marketing whether it's building another income or whether it's starting something new and that's really important so i want you to share with them video share this video with them and let them know about everything so this video is all about my freelancing journey, how I started. I still have my job. I still work as a freelancer. I still build my another couple of sources, which I'm going to talk about in the next video. So that's all for this today's video. See you in the next one. Bye.